Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my finale to the 365 Days of Eyeshadows Challenge that was created by Jessica Lee, and I do have her link down below. There is also a link to everybody else who was doing this project, so you guys can go check out their uh, updates as well. So basically, we started this project on January 1st, and the goal was to use one new eyeshadow for every single day of the year, uh, so to at least touch 365 different pans of eyeshadows. I have not included any eyeshadows from my pan that palette any eyeshadows that I'm trying to hit pan in in any other project these are 365 unique eyeshadows from palettes that are not in any other project so I have been probably starting back in March I started combining the eyeshadows into one look I try to do five to seven eyeshadows in one look and then that way the other six days out of the week I can use something else and work on my pan those eyeshadows and all of that. So um, I will have my playlist link down below in case you want to go down and look at every other eyeshadow that I have worn throughout the year. I try to include as many looks as I can, swatches, etc. So for December it was days 335 to days 365. I have finished up a little bit early which is why my finale is going up now. Um, but I I think this is finale number six that I have filmed so far this month so I'm just in the the role and the mindset of getting these finales up for you guys so that I can start all of my intros for the new year so let me go ahead and we will um, what I will do is what I typically do I'll put a picture up on the screen with the eye look you'll see my swatches and then um, I also have included a picture of the palette so uh, the first eyeshadow palette that I uh, reached for oh I forgot one part <laughs> I've been doing this in collab with my friend Jen. I do have her link down below. Forgot to tell you guys the theme of all of these five palettes. These, uh, the theme was gifts. Um, since this is December and this is typically the month of gift giving, we decided to work on palettes that we were re uh, have received as gifts. So the first palette that I worked on is my Huda Beauty Topaz Obsession. I did get this one from Valerie. And this is what the palette looks like. So none of these eyeshadows have names. So I just numbered them one through three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you'll see in the swatch and the picture I'm about ready to pop up on the screen, you'll just see numbers and that refers to which pan it is in the palette. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first eye look. So for this one, I did use five different mattes for this look. I did reach into seven shades this month because there were 31 days. One day I did need to use seven eyeshadows. So I started off with the middle shade as my... Uh, lid setting shade and then I started off with shade number one to start that nice yellow look right up underneath my brow I deepen it up with shade three and then with eight and then shade seven that dark brown I did put that one in my outer corner for the lid if you I always start on the outer corner I did shade number two since it was a little bit darker of a bronzy color and then I have shade four on the inner portion of my lid because I do like to have the lighter colored shimmers uh, towards the inside of my lid so that was my first look with uh, seven uh, eyeshadows. I really enjoyed the formula of this one. It was beautiful. The shimmers were gorgeous. I didn't have any issues with it. So I basically used, I think, everything except for these two right here. So that was one whole look right there. So those were the first seven shades. The next eye look that I did, I used my BH Cosmetics uh, Sweet Shop Orange Sorbet Palette. This was a gift from my wife, and this is what this one looks like. I used these three mattes and these three shimmers, so everything except for this one. So um, I, have, I have these numbered as well. There are names to these eyeshadows underneath them. I just have them numbered in the photos for simplicity's sake. There is just not enough room to write some of these names. If you want to know the names of each one of these pans or whatever, I have it all listed in the description box by look. So look number two, let's get into that one now. So I did start off um, with the bottom row. Uh, the first shade is shade number five. I started that one off under my brow. I deepened it up with shade number six. And then I went into shade number seven, that matte kind of red color. And that's what I had towards my outer V um, to deepen up the look. So I kind of did, it looked like a more of a sunset look. On the outer portion of my eyelid, I did shade number three, the, the kind of reddish orange. For the inner portion of my lid, I did shade number two. And then for my inner corner, I used shade number one. 
So this look was very simple. Like I said, it just used three mattes, three shimmers, and the quality of this is outstanding. This is such a beautiful formula. I see what all the hype is about, about the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow formula. It is incredible. I really like this look. Um, orange is a color that I have never really been comfortable wearing, but through panning and all of that, I have come to love the color orange and uh, wearing it. I don't have any clothes that are orange because I do have a very yellow undertone, so wearing orange makes me nervous because if it is the wrong shade of orange, it looks terrible on me. However, I'm really learning to embrace wearing orange eyeshadows, and I love this one. I do highly recommend this. I don't know if they're still selling these palettes or if they've, if they've been discontinued, but this is an amazing palette. Um, for the next uh, look, I used my Nabla Secret Palette, and this was a gift from Misty. This is, this is what it looks like here. Again, it does have names, but I'm going to use shade numbers. There are five in each row, so one through five six through 10, 11 through 15 right here. So that's how I refer to them into in the picture. And again, the names are in the description box below. So let's get, uh, take a look at this one. So I started off with shade number 13. That's the second one in the bottom row. 10, 11, 12, 13, is that right? I may have missed, no, that's right. <laughs> that's the middle one in the bottom row. I started off, it's a very neutral brown. I went into shade number two, and as you can see, it swatches much lighter than it shows in the picture, and I blended that out just to give it a little bit more depth. Of course, I went into shade number 10, the, the last one on the bottom uh, middle row, to deepen it out, and then I used the black shade, the very last shade in the palette, to deepen up my outer corner, and I just love that transition of neutrals. And then I went into shade number 12, the second one in the bottom row. I used that on my outer corner, and then I used shade number 11 on the inner portion of my eyelid, and I used that as my inner corner highlight as well. So I have two other Nabla palettes I have tried. They're, they're Cutie palettes. Um, I really like this one. I think this one is great quality as well. Obviously, I did not reach into any of these really bright, beautiful colors here, but I just I stayed with the neutrals, and I love the way the look turned out. This is a really uh, good quality uh, eyeshadow palette as well. The next palette I reached into was my KVD Vegan Beauty Edge of Reality Eyeshadow Palette. Again, this was a gift from Misty. And this is what it looks like right here. So I did use neutrals for this eye look. I used this one, these four, and then this one right here. Again, they are numbered, but I found out that on the back of the packaging it is named. So um, again, those will be in the description box. So let's take a look at the fourth eyeshadow look. So I did start off with shade number eight. That's the first one in the bottom row. I used that to um, set down my base. I reached into shade number two to start off as my transition, and this one was so powdery and so light. You guys can see in that swatch, I had to build up and build up and build up just to get that little bit of payoff. Now it is closer to my skin tone, so I, um, I understand that that could be part of the reason why you don't see it. However, uh, on the eyes, there was very little color payoff. Then I went into shade number three, and again, I had to build and build and build that one to even get that one to show up. And shade number one, that dark brown, I had to build that one as well. These mattes were a bit disappointing to work with. Then when I went into my eyelid, um, I used shade number four on the outer portion of my eyelid, and it was beautiful. The payoff was incredible, and same with shade number six. I used that on the inner portion of my eyelid. I will say that even though the payoff was amazing, they were a bit flaky, and when I used a brush, like kind of chunks of the glitter eyeshadow, not glitter, sorry, shimmer eyeshadow would fall down my face and onto my clothes, so the quality of this palette is not very good. So, um, I don't know if anybody else has tried this new, this is a KVD Vegan Beauty, this is not Kat Von D, this is one of their palettes. I think this was um, their release last Christmas, I wanna say. But I'm wondering if anybody else has tried these. Have, do you guys find the same thing that this just doesn't have much payoff as far as the mattes go? And the, the shimmers, like I said, are super flaky. So I did enjoy the way the shimmers looked. It just took a bit to clean up. That's my only complaint about that. Um, and, and then the mattes, just almost no payoff. So that palette was a little bit disappointing. 
And then the final look is the one that I am wearing today. And for this, I'm wearing my Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette. This was gifted to me from Valerie. And this is what this one looks. As you can see, uh, bright, colorful, and I did decide to go with a lot of color today. Not sure if this is my favorite eye look I've ever done. I was expecting it to turn out a little bit different, but um, I did have a little bit of issues with some of the shimmers, but once I worked down a little bit and got rid of that top layer, then they started, uh, then I got some beautiful payoffs. So let's see, can I bend this backwards? I'm always afraid I'm gonna break a palette when I bend it backwards. So I did start off with this shade right here. This is a swatch of it. I guess I should show you these are, my, these are my swatches for this eye look. So I started off with this turquoise and I did put it right here through my eye. I did go into this hot pink right here and I put this one on the outer portion of my lid. And then I deepened it up with this purple in my outer corner out here. So that is swatches one, two, and three. These are the mattes that I used. Then what I wanted to do was I wanted to go into this purple and I wanted to put the purple over here and I was thinking I could kind of go into this turquoise shade and put it in right here. But this turquoise shade is so much more of a topper shade than it was um, like full opacity. It just, um, it's a very translucent shade for lack of a better word. So this is the pinky one and this went all over my eyelid beautifully. And then this purple one just barely showed up. So what I did was I took this pink one right here and I took some of the purple and I just went on top of it and I mixed these two shades together and I thought that looked beautiful and that's what I have all over my eyelid. Um, yeah, I was kind of hoping to mimic what I did with the mattes on the eyelid, but once I mixed those to get two together, I thought it was beautiful. I just didn't realize that that one was more of a topper shade. Um, and then the final shade that I reached into was this cream color right here. And I do have that is my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. And that is a swatch right at the bottom. As you can see, it's a very light shimmer. So I do think this one is really pretty. Um, I just, I guess I expected a, a lot more color on that one. And it just, it took me by surprise that there wasn't as much payoff on that one. And again, I just, I, I'm wondering if there isn't some hard pan on there. I reached into the black shade to try it and it wasn't that much pigment, but now, now I'm getting a lot of pigment. So I think what I need to do is play with this palette some more and see if it just maybe has a little bit of hard pan on top of some of these shimmers. But I think the mattes are beautiful. The payoff is gorgeous. Um, I do really like it. So I am going to play around with this some more. Um, I don't like to just wear a palette one time and then make a, a snap decision on whether I like it or not. So I will be playing with these uh, a lot more and, uh, creating some more eye looks, see if I really do enjoy them, see if the formula improves over time, etc. So that is everything. That is all 365 eyeshadows. I'm so happy to finally have this challenge finished. I will not be doing this again next year. I'm going to be focusing more on either trying to hit pan or finish eyeshadows. Um, I do want to use my eyeshadows palettes more, and this has allowed me to do that but I'm trying to find a balance. And I think that is the trick in project panning, not to just hyper-focus on the items that are in projects, but also to love on everything else in your collection. And I haven't quite figured out how to make that work for me. So I'm hoping that as I pan more and maybe I can find a new routine or a new some way to incorporate these in without doing, um, without having to do a new look every, you know, so many days and, and not use everything else that are in my projects. I know I could use project pan items to combine in these looks, but I really wanted the eyeshadows in these palettes to shine and so that you guys could see a look that I created with each of these palettes. So that is everything I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this challenge. I hope you enjoyed following me along and all the different eye looks that I have created. Um, be sure to look for other people who are doing this. You can uh, follow the hashtag. It's hashtag, I think it's 365 days of eyeshadows. I believe that's a hashtag. If not, I'll put it up here on the screen. So if you haven't already, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel before you go. While you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.